What's going on guys, it's Greg Miskos Dyes, and today we're going to start rolling out some goalie stringing tutorials. We finally got our own head out, the ECD Impact. It's uh, taken off, been really popular so far, super lightweight, uh, really great feedback. And we also have the all new 12D Impact Mesh. So we're going to start to make some tutorials uh, for the mesh and the head as well. Today we're going to start off with just the top string um, because this stuff does take a little longer. Then we'll roll out some sidewall patterns for you guys. Um, but we have gotten a lot of questions on the top string. Uh, first off, you can get the mesh on our site if you want, and if you don't want to string and impact yourself, we do have them uh, as elite pockets, pre-strung online and in stores. We all do them here. Uh, they turn out really nice. This is one of the pockets here. Um, but if you want to do it yourself, that's great. We're going to teach you a little bit today, and we're going to start with this hidden top string that we do on all our goalie heads. Um, so you can do a standard top string just like you would a field head. I don't think you really need a tutorial for that. You can just take our nine diamond top string tutorial and just do it across more diamonds. But for this, we're gonna do this hidden top string. What this does is it really helps center up the diamonds and also pulls the mesh up to the front of the scoop so that you get a little bit less lipping as the pocket breaks in. It's also really easy and quick to string. Um, so first thing you wanna do is get your mesh. This will work with other 12 diamond meshes, not just impact. Um, it has a front and a back, a top and a bottom. So the rough side is the side you want touching the ball. And then the top is going to be the one with 11 diamonds across. Um, so once you have that uh, 11 diamond top and you've got it facing the front, you want to roll that first row of 11 diamonds over to the next. So you can see directly through it, 11 diamond to 11 diamond. So the trick here you'll see once we get going through the head is very simple. No knots, just weaving the sidewall across is you're gonna string the mesh up on what we call the bridges. So if you have your fold and you turn it, you see these bridges on the top. You're basically going to hold the mesh up uh, through the sidewall holes with each of these bridges kind of like that. So we'll switch views and get into the tutorial. Okay, so on this top string, unlike a lot, we're actually gonna work from the center and go outwards. Uh, so you wanna find your center diamond of the 11, so count out one, two, three, four, five. So that one's the center, because you got five on this side and five on that side. And we're going to put that up to the center. Uh, we have a hole in the impact in the dead center. So we're just gonna go like that at the center and then work our way out. So just like I said at the beginning, you're gonna be working with these mesh bridges. So the easiest way to do it is to take your sidewall, no knots, and you're gonna thread it into that mesh bridge just so the sidewall goes across, just like, just like that, and make it so it's even length because you're right in the center. And then this is actually really easy. So you're gonna take the right side of the string, put it through going front to back of the center top string hole, and then you're gonna take the left side of the string and put it through front to back of that same hole. And you can leave it loose and kind of see what we have here, which is just a loop, and then the sidewall is going through that same top string hole, and then we're gonna go left and right. So you can leave that a little bit loose for now. We'll tighten it up in a second, but you can get a good look at what we're doing here. You've got the loop on the bridge, and then through the hole. So we're gonna take, go right first, take the right top string, and go from back to front, through that next top string hole, and then really simply, we're just gonna come around and go through one side and up around the other to put that mesh bridge just like we did right there. And then you're gonna run the top string through that same hole just like that. So you can see how it looks loose. And then this is a good time to start to tighten it up a little bit. You just pull the slack out and you can see when you pull it tight, it pulls that mesh up in front of the scoop. Um, and so you can always go back and tighten this really easily later, um, but then you just continue that process across. So next top string hole, going straight across the back of the scoop. Then you're gonna come and go through that bridge and then back through the front with that same hole. And then uh, once you get a couple done, you wanna just tighten them up as you go across so they stay nice and tight. Really simple, come through the last top string hole, 
and it's just one-to-one -one top string holes to mesh bridges here going around and pulling it up and you just repeat that process and then again go through and take all the slack out so it's nice and tight and you can always do that at the end or go back through and tighten it up. You can see a couple of these are a little loose. You can tighten that back up if you need. So once we're here, we're going to then start going back the other way. So same process, take your sidewall, go from back to front of the scoop hole, then through the mesh bridge going the other direction. So you got it there and then go back through that same top string hole from front to back this time to pull that mesh up in front of the scoop just like that and you repeat that process two more times again it's just uh, one diamond to one top string hole so it's super simple and there you go again you can always go back and tighten it but you can see how it looks we've got them all pulled up in the front and then it's a matter of tying these off and this gets a little tricky uh, so the way we do it is we actually bunch it up a little bit. You can see we've got uh, one, two diamonds left, but we're at the end um, because we don't want to leave too much slack at the top of the stick. We're not going to use all the diamonds in the top string. So we'll bunch those up and then go uh, through that second to last diamond and not even worry about this end diamond. We're just going to go through the second to last. So then you can go uh, through either the top or the second sidewall, depending on how, how tight you want to pull it. And then just like I said, we're going to skip that outside diamond and go back to the second to last and just let that mesh bunch up in that loop like that. And we actually tend to go uh, just to really lock it down through this with a couple loops because uh, the hole is a little bigger and you have the space and it just keeps it uh, extra tight. So you can see we left that very end 11th diamond loose and just bunch it up in that wrap here pull that nice and tight and tie off all right so that's how you do the top string uh, it might take you a couple times to pause and rewatch the video to get a feel for going through that bridge um, but overall i think it's really simple i like doing it. you can even try it on your field he field heads if you want it to so again all this stuff is available on our site at retailers we're going to teach you how to do the sidewall in the coming weeks so check back for that um, and again if you don't want to string your own head um, we do them where we sell them as elite pockets so you can check that out. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Have a great day.